We are solving equations. Uh, we're going to combine like terms and we're going to distribute in our equations today. So it makes them a little bit um, more lengthy and we have to do a couple more steps. All right, here we go. So in the space provided, you've got your number one box and then you have a blank box on the right. The blank box on the right is for us to write down the steps. So I am going to do that for each problem. Okay. Okay. My job first is to get the smaller variable over, just like yesterday. Move the smaller variable. Here are my choices. I've got a 9, oh, well, a negative 9, and I've got a 21. Which one is smaller? Negative 9. Negative 9. Move that over. It is negative. So bring the T with it. You guys, make sure your T looks like a T, not a plus sign. You can even do capital T. So I added 9T to both sides. On the left, it cancels. And I just have an 8 all by itself on the left. What's 21 plus 9? 30T. Put your equal sign in the middle. The minus 17 also is there. Okay. What happens to, well, you tell me what's next. Add 17. sorry that it looks kind of bad, equals 30t. I'm going to get a fraction answer. They don't go into each other. And what do I do? Divide both sides by... Do I divide by 25 or do I divide by 30? 30. You want to move the number that's next to the variable. That 30 needs to go away so that the t can be all by itself. 25 over 30. Um, well, 5 goes into both of those. How many times does 5 go into 25? How many times does 5 go into 30? You leave your answer as a fraction, 5 sixths. 5 sixths. Awesome. Okay. 5x plus 2 equals negative x plus 14. First step, move the smaller variable. Please remember, my friends, this is like a negative 1 right there. Which variable is smaller? I've got a 5x and I've got a negative 1x. Which one is smaller? Negative 1x. It's a negative. So I... Add 1x. Add 1x to both sides. Six x, five plus one. I, the two is still there. The equal sign is still there. The ones are gone. And then 14. Cool. And then... Take away 2. Let's get the 2 and the 14 together. They are both constants. They are both numbers just all by themselves. 14 take away 2. 12. 12. So I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. Yes. And then, yeah. Divide by 6. Divide by 6. <clears throat> X is now alone. Bigger numbers on top, smaller numbers on bottom. 6 goes into 12 evenly. And I heard you say it. 2. So we divide by six. 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 Six.
by 6, both sides. So, parentheses, distribute, right? Watch for your negatives and positives and all that. Okay. Three times M. Three times negative two. Great job, guys. Equal sign goes in the middle. Negative two times M. Ooh, be careful. Negative two times a negative seven. Positive. You're right. So I distribute. I'm just going to put dist. Dist. Okay. You now have a choice of which M is smaller. The 2 is a negative 2. That's smaller than 3. It's a negative. How do I get rid of a minus 2? Take the M with it. And remember, I can only add the 2M to the 3M. I can't add 2M to the 6 because the 6 is not, doesn't have an M, doesn't have a variable, doesn't have a backpack with it. 6 and the 14 are going to go together. 6 and 14 will go together. Left side, 3M plus 2M makes how many M? Put the minus 6. My 2M's on the right cancel. And I have 14. So I added 2M both sides. Good. Remember how I was talking about the 6 and the 14? Constants. Plain old numbers. Like terms. Get them together. And I want the M alone. I want this. I want this at the end. So you have to slowly start getting rid of stuff. You've got to get rid of the 6. Then get rid of the 5. But yeah, I heard you say it. Add 6. Okay, that cancels out the 6 and makes a 0. 5M equals 14 plus 6. 20. I am. Oh, yeah. Um, and last, last. The 5. M equals 4. Divide by Bo. Wow, that eraser is ginormous eraser. Sorry. It erased way too much. Okay, the answer is M equals 4. Okay. Simple distributing. 7, distribute 3. All right, do it with the people at your table. Okay, then we talked about this while it was on mute. Please don't do 42 plus 3C. 42 is not ever going to go with the 3C. Because 3 has a variable, the C. 42 doesn't have a C. They're not going to hang out. C is a backpack. 42 does not have a backpack. Backpack. 10C minus 42 equals 12. Does my paper look like your paper so far? Yes. Good job. That means that you are awesome. OK, what about the 42 and the 12? How's that happen? I'm, I, I want the 12 to stay on the right, so I don't want to subtract 12. Ah, okay. Ten C. Two plus two is four. One plus four is five. Oh, what? 
Bummer. That's all right. That's all right. So I'm going to get an answer. Oops, one, zero. Pardon me. But 54 and 10, mm, two goes into it. 54. Cut in half. 27. Ten cut in half. Twenty-seven over five. Okay. Do I distribute the eight A or do I distribute the four? And what happens with the 8A? Stay. Stays. Oh my gosh, you guys are so smart. You must have like the best teacher ever. Wow. Ha ha. You're right, you're so right. Only the negative four distributes. Oh, negative four times negative five A. Careful, careful. Positive 20 A. Oh, I should have done it in black. Oh well, I'll switch. Negative 4 times negative 2. Positive 8. Positive 8. Equals 12A. If you have like terms, I do. I have like terms right here. 8 and 20A. They're on the same side. Just put them together right next to each other. 8 and 20 put together. I don't want to see any minus 8A, any minus 20A. No, 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 no. They go together first. What are they when they go together? Plus 8 just stays. Okay. Sounds good. This, uh, uh, gosh. The A ha the, I'm sorry, the 8 has nothing like it, so the H is going to hang out alone for a little bit. But the 28 and the 12, they both have backpacks. They both have A's. But you cannot subtract 12. I know it's smaller. You really need to just get the A's over to the right-hand side. So move the 28A by subtracting it. And be careful when you get your answer. 12 take away 28. Positive 12, negative 28. There's more bad guys. There's more negatives. 16A, negative 16A. And finally, move the 16 so that the A can be all alone. Is it going to be 2 or is it going to be 1 half? One half. So I wrote the steps on the right because I was not doing it while we were writing. One half and positive, it's going to be a negative. Keep the negative sign there. Okay, turn the page. So basically what you have is um, your classwork is 1 through 8 and your homework is 9 through 15. So you just have to basically do the whole packet over the weekend. So I'm just going to write 1 through 15 or 16. What is it? 15. 15. So there's 15 problems that I'm going to be checking. And right here, just to give you kind of a heads up, like these ones on the screen, I'm going to combine like terms first. Like look at number two. Get these three and negative five together first. And then the eight. And then get the negative five and the negative five together first. So on number two, maybe you want to write that down to kind of help you know what to do first. That should help you, number two. And then I'm also going to look at number three and four real quick. Three and four are, you know, pretty much the same. But number four, I have to put the R's together on the right-hand side first. So number four is going to start out like that. Okay. Add to R... So, 
the negative is still in front of the 3. And 1 take away 2 is a positive 1R. Or just R. I'm done, guys. You don't need to do anything. So that was number 4. All right, have a fantastic Friday. 1 through 15 is your weekend homework.